Hey guys, and welcome back to this week's Instagram Live. Um, I hope you guys had a good half term, as you know, we all did. Oops, sorry, guys. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so I'll just get straight into it. Today we're looking at a iPad 2, 16 gigabyte cellular. Um, as you can see, it's kind of missing the glass. So I'm going to take a look at that and uh, hopefully take you guys through this process with me. Um, so because the hardest part has already been done, which is taking the glass off, um, now we've just got to take the LCD out. Now I've tried plugging it in and it should normally on well, iPads show, you know, the charging symbol or whatever, but it hasn't done that. So I suspect that there's something more wrong with this than just the screen being missing. And I feel as if somebody's already tampered with it. So I can't show you much because I'm in quite a tight space as there is still some works going on in the house so I don't have much room so I'm just going to take these screws out and show you as much as I can I apologize about that but anyway take out these four screws these are what hold the display in and you should be able to lift up the display just like a book and here trying to show you guys as much of this as I can. Lift up this bracket. It's very neat inside of here, which is good. It's always a good start. Get this display off. Okay. Put that to one side, make sure it's safe. And here we are. Out. So I'm just gonna take a look at this. It looks like my suspicions were correct about somebody being in here, as there's a piece of tape in here. It shouldn't be. Let's do that for now. So this is what I see the iPad 2. There you go, that's the SIM card tray. Oh, okay. Let me just delete that for a minute. Um, interesting point, but that's not for here. Anyway, this has been ripped, so I'll take this out. Yeah, so this has had a replaced screen. Which is interesting. But I'll be honest, whoever replaced it did a good job, so I'm not complaining. So, I'm not too sure on what's wrong with this. I'm quite confused here. Hello there. So I'm just taking a look at an iPad 2 cellular version, 16 gig. Um, it's got no display and it's got no power. So two quite interesting issues here. Trying to see if I can see anything immediately wrong with it. 
I can't. Hmm. And the battery looks in condition apart from that, which is a bit weird. I don't know what that is. Unless that's an actual hole inside the battery. I don't think it is. Looks okay to me. Be interesting. I have a, another iPad too. Uh, that's at a different building right now. Um, I might come back to this and test some parts because I know the iPad 2 is working. Um, so it'd be interesting to see what's actually wrong with this. Hello, Raymond. My TV came today. Whack a charger into that. Check if that works. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to work on another phone. Um, this is an interesting one. I'm not going to work on this today. This is an iPhone 4S running iOS 6 that has a Wi-Fi issue. And there's quite a weird way to fix this. Um, it involves a hairdryer and a fridge. So I'll get on to fixing that in a different video. Or... Mm -hmm. I guess I'll just walk you through what the issue is. So if you go into settings on this phone, you go into Wi-Fi, you can't turn it on. It's just greyed out. Okay? If you go into Bluetooth, it's just a spinning wheel. Now, this is quite common in the 4S, especially if it's been dropped, and as you can see, it has been dropped. So the fix is, and this is quite a funny fix, you get a hairdryer and you blow it up on here until the iPhone gives you a temperature warning. It will say, this iPhone is too hot, please wait. So you put a hairdryer on it until it's get, it gets too hot, and then you go to your fridge, and you put it in your fridge for 10 minutes. And that fixes it, which is very weird. So that's this, it's actually job. Itself, as it's not really something I can show on these live videos. Um, but now I've got an iPhone 5C here, which is actually dead right now. But it does work, as you can see, it's got the police charging symbol. But this has got the same Wi Fi and Bluetooth issue as the 4S. Now I thought that you could fix it the same way as you fixed um, the other iPhone, which was with a hairdryer. And some patience. Oh, you guys are a second. Um, it didn't work. 
much to my surprise and my disappointment. So it looks like I'm going to have to take this one apart and see what else I can do with it. So we'll see if I can get a better angle on you guys here. Two bottom screws. Uh, one second, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I'm back now. Let's get the screen off this. felt a bit too easy, but maybe I'm just imagining things. <sighs> so this is probably down to a different chip in here. Um, I would guess that the everything is spaced out differently, and it looks like there's been a bit of water in here. Um, you can only tell, you guys can't see that. There's fingerprints and what looks like water residue left in here, but none of the water stickers have gone red. So it couldn't be in enough water, but I think it was enough to kill something or damage something. So, um, without further ado, let me take the screen off so I can get a bit more space in here. Ow. Always keep your screws in order. Made that mistake enough times. So there's nothing immediately that I can see that's wrong with this. She's a bit annoying, but, oh, hold on a second. Um, something has been replaced in here. Because that's supposed to be stuck down, and it's not. Let's take a further look. Now look, this shouldn't be that easy to lift up at all. So somebody's been in here, and it weren't me. Huh. Quite interesting. These five C's were so badly made. Apple lost a lot of money on them. I don't know why they thought it was a good idea to do this phone in particular. Um, especially for just, I think it was like, they said it was a budget phone, but it was still like 500 pound. So nobody bought it. And the people who did were pretty disappointed with it. I know there were some five C lovers out there mostly because of the colours, but the plastic design and the look and the internals were just rubbish. Quite disappointing.
Ah. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see it. Because I don't know what um Instagram does to the bitrate on this thing. But this chip right here. Um this has got some corrosion on it. And this is right next to an antenna. So I suspect this is the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth chip. And it's corroded, so it would make sense. So, I wonder if this is the chip that's gone bad. Shouldn't be too much of a hard replacement, but I'll do that in my own time. I'm just going to take a closer look. But yeah, that's gotten wet. I think that is why it's not working. interesting right I'll clean this up um, but I'm practically out of time now so I'll take a deep look into that in my own time but I reckon this is where the issue is put some alcohol in it as well some isopropyl alcohol but yeah um Very, very fun um, to find out a few issues with these phones. Um, I'm going to go fix the iPhone 4S as well. Um, I should have some more phones next week as I've been going through Facebook Marketplace and find some pretty good deals. Um, this is how I make, you know, a little bit of cash on the side, fixing up phones and sending them on. So, yeah. Um, I appreciate you guys staying and watching. If you've got any questions, please feel free to leave them obviously below or contact us directly with our DMs. We respond to every single one. And I uh, hope you learned something. Thank you very much. Hey guys, thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed watching, please remember to like and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Follow me on Instagram at lucas underscore lane underscore one. Follow Soapbox at Soapbox Islington. And as always, have a great day. Bye now.